Alright guys, so I kind of messed up. Uh, yeah, I messed up. I'm like a day and a half late. And I'm having to do some really cliche movements. And mostly the reason why I'm doing all this is because I got a new camera. And I'm just testing it out and I wanted to see how it looked. So I thought I'd do it for the intro. Yeah. Hey guys, what is up? So, uh, I'm in my little studio right now and it's kind of blown out, but I, I wanted to... I'm basically going to reorganize everything so it kind of fits better. And I also got a new camera, so I'm doing like a dual shot right now. So, I'm about to switch over and show you guys my studio. Alright guys, so this is my studio right here. So, I basically want to take this, move it over here. I want to take this couch and move it over here. I want to take my desk and then move it over here. So that's what the goal of the plan is. So I'm going to start doing that and let's get to it. And I'm on my new camera. It's a Canon Power Shot In. All right, so I feel like I've done a piss poor job trying to explain what I was trying to do. So I have a small limited room. And I used to have two rooms. Well, I still have two rooms. This is my other room. Yeah, so it used to be my podcasting room. But I felt like I didn't want, I didn't like all my stuff. Hold on. I don't like it here. All right, well, the thing is, I have all this film equipment. And, and I kind of feel my podcast is slipping, 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 slipping to the point where it's, it was almost a year and some change of time wasted. So I made the executive decision to combine both my studio and my room into my studio room. And uh, that's where we're at. Alright, so we're midway through. Uh, I have gotten futon over, TV over, desk over, my cupboard over. I have everything done now. All my film gear is up here now in these cubbies. These are all these are all cameras. And then I have all my audio stuff down here. So I am about to go to bed because tomorrow we're gonna do our weekly activity. Hey guys, what is up? So I am in Rockport, Missouri right now. It is Sunday morning, uh, about 8.30. And uh, yeah, we're heading to uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Um, yeah, I was gonna just show you guys where my old stomping grounds are. Well, All right, let's get back on the road again. All right, guys, so it's the afternoon time, and uh, I, it's going to be a huge change of plans. So I'm actually in Sioux City, Iowa right now. I was doing the, you know, just the whole choreographing, and whole mapping out of everything, and I realized that if I went ahead and went to Sioux Falls, I would get there about 2.30. What I like to do is I like to film for a little bit and leave about 4, 4.30, so it would be almost pointless going there. So instead, in Sioux City, Iowa, there is a big boat they converted into a museum. I'm just doing a test right now to see really quick because the wind is blowing so I don't have a windscreen for my microphone. So I'm checking to see how it works. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Hey, guys. So I don't know how much of me talking so far has been in focus 
I just realized that it was on manual instead of auto. So that means that I could have been talking for a long time with being out of focus or a little soft. So if that's the case, that's why. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing much else. Uh, I just stopped by the Riverside. This is the Missouri River. Shot some stuff. Now I'm gonna go head over to the museum. All right, guys, so we are here at Sergeant Floyd. Uh, so you might be wondering what it is. Basically a dry docked boat. It was at one time an active ship or boat. And now it's just a museum. So I thought we'd go and check it out. Stay on the bottle, don't drop it. I can give you like a brief history. Um, basically, um, this boat was built in 1932. All right, guys. So I don't know how much you guys were able to hear from the lady because I was able to talk to her and she gave me kind of a history lesson of this place. All right, guys. So I think it's time to start this history lesson now. All right. So the boat is located on the Sioux City Riverfront. So what this boat is now used for is a museum. All right, so let me tell you about the boat. It was built at the Howard Shipyard in Jefferson, Indiana in 1932. There's like a sunken ship museum and really? stuff like that up there. Okay. And then there's some gorgeous places too. Like if you're just out of sheer beauty and stuff, there's a place in, in Munising in the Upper Peninsula. Just met a very nice fellow. Um, so let me see, where am I? where was I at? Oh yeah, so the main purpose of this boat was basically be a lookout to make sure that the rubber was safe enough for worker boats and equipment boats to travel down the river. And it served this purpose between 1933 and 1935. And it was actually about to get destroyed, but Congress actually assigned it one last duty to the Army Corps Engineering Corps Group people, something like that, and so it didn't get destroyed. Then in 1983, Sioux City, Iowa actually put a bid in to buy it and then moved it to the location where it is today. So I think this is where I'm gonna end this week's vlog. If you are still watching, thank you so much. Like, comment, and subscribe. I wanna say I'm so sorry for this vlog being up late. Uh, I am actually doing a project right now with some fellow YouTubers or people who do YouTube videos. And so it's kind of like, yeah, take as much of my time as you need, even though I need to, time to edit and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This one was kind of different. I feel like this is different in the sense of how I filmed it and how I edited it and told you guys the story. It's a little bit on the other side of things how I normally do it. But I hope you guys liked it. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.